Good afternoon. It is Thursday, September 5th. We're taking a look at ES here for a quick session recap. So following yesterday's neutral session, we had that inside day on both SPY and ES. We're looking at the regular trading hours chart here. The main watch was to see if price was going to be breaking that prior day's range. Typically, when you have an inside day, you want to be looking for a break of that inside bar and then go with the direction that price breaks in. So in this case, price broke lower. We want to primarily be looking for shorts. Now, it did break lower later in the morning. So if you only traded the bounce like I did, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But technically speaking, price did resolve lower. It did do what we expected with that inside day break. Taking a look at the intermediate term structure here, we had that big unfilled gap down below here. And the gap is pretty much filled, just about filled. Not not perfectly, it, it fills down into 54.85 and today's low is 54.90. So still about five points until we have a, a true gap fill. But for the most part, you know, it's about 90% filled or so. What we had for today was initially that bounce off of the open. Again, this is a regular trading hours, 15 minute chart. So a bounce right off of the open. We had noted in the live stream that ES was much weaker than NQ today. NQ was trading up into that prior day high. ES just not getting there. And what this did was it set up a lower high for this near term structure. So what we have, just kind of rewinding a bit, remember we had the daily breakdown on Tuesday. Here's that prior range right through here, trading about two weeks sideways. Tuesday triggers the breakdown, right? You get the big flush. Here's a bounce, okay? Price kind of sets up its first lower high right through there, closes on the lows yesterday. Today we get that next bounce, another lower high. Then you get a flush of today's low. That triggers that inside day breakdown, and we pretty much have the gap fill move essentially completed. Now, as far as this near-term structure, downtrend, right? Daily breakdown right into a downtrend price later this afternoon or early afternoon, rather, staging a, a decent bounce there, but just getting knocked down at the weekly volume point of control and the prior day volume point of control. So sellers stepping in, yet again right through there. Now, as far as what we'll be looking at for tomorrow, we do have NFP tomorrow. That's gonna to be a big market moving event during the pre-market session that'll be taking place at 8.30. Definitely we'll be looking at that and potentially trading that if we have any setups to work with. I imagine that we will. But what I'll be looking at is how ES responds to this 5,500 area as well as today's low. We wanna see if sellers are going to continue this move right? Or if buyers are able to force a change in character. Now, change in character is not going to come until we start to see some sustained action above this 5531. If that does materialize, you can look for today's high and potentially 5565. So some pretty clear levels to be working with. Now, if selling does continue, right, we'll be looking at the 5485. That's that true gap fill level and then potentially down into 54. 50. So some some pretty clear levels to be working with for tomorrow's session, uh, expecting some good action with NFP. My focus will actually most likely be on NQ. I'm liking the NQ setup a little bit better right now simply because NQ is still defending this gap right here. So we have that unfilled gap just below current price. As I had mentioned yesterday, buyers are gonna be very interested in continuing to defend this gap. And that's exactly what we saw today. You have the nice bounce right off the open, right? Price test that prior day high. Failure to show acceptance above the prior day high tells us that most likely it's gonna be a range day. This is one of the scenarios that we discussed this morning during the live stream. And you'll typically see these slower kind of more range bound sessions ahead of a big economic data print like NFP. So tomorrow, NFP, what I'll be looking to see is whether or not buyers can continue to defend this area. Right through here, essentially 18, 820 area, today's low, near-term range low, or 
if sellers are going to break that support, watch for the gap fill, and then we could see what type of action we get down here into 18 five fifty. Now, as far as the, as far as the structure is concerned, remember this is still a downtrend. If we take a look at the series of pivots, we do see a series of lower highs here, big breakdown on Tuesday. Once that 700 area was rejected, right? We do have some decent bounces within there, but lower high Today's action, not really a, a true change in character, right? Just a lower high and then price retesting the lows right through there. So ultra near term, like past couple of sessions, we're talking sideways range right through there. Just a sideways range. As far as the intermediate term, this is very obviously a downtrend, right? So near term, past two sessions, range, intermediate term, downtrend, okay? So main focus points with this, Near-term range, like with any range, is going to be the near-term range low, 18, 830 area, and then this 19, 150, today's high, essentially. Look at the shape of the daily bars as of right now. Now, that can all change with NFP tomorrow. So let's see that NFP reaction, see what kind of action we get with the data print. Let me take a look really quickly at the daily chart. There we go on NQ, so some indecision, right? A couple of dojis there on NQ. Let's take a look at QQQ, okay? Now, the other thing I wanna see really quick is that weekly bar. Yeah, take a look at that weekly bar. So pretty bearish weekly bar so far. Let's see if sellers can continue this move or if this near-term two-day range is gonna resolve with a bounce higher. We are now three consecutive sessions lower on NQ and then on ES, same thing, All right? Three consecutive sessions lower. So a big, big trend day move. And then a couple of neutral sessions today technically did show that follow through through that prior day low, a little bit of an extension there, but very, very tame session less than a one ATR move. So main watch tomorrow, NFP gonna be looking at 5,500 on ES and then NQ primarily interested in this 18, 825, 18, 820 area. So I hope everyone had a great session. My focus this morning was the longs on this kind of front side of the move. I'll post those executions here in the think tank in just a moment. If you guys have questions about anything, feel free to shoot me a DM. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the live stream. Have a good afternoon.